Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a while since I have posted some, as you can see. I just got a mess in the garage, but I don't have the ATV no more. Uh, unfortunately, I had an accident. Um, broke my pelvis, fractured uh, my hip, and for the sake of my family and myself, had to make a decision to sell the ATV and I guess go another route. Maybe down the line, I'll try to get a side-by-side -side or another jet ski or something. But for now, uh, just try to make videos about something else. And from here on out, just maybe my truck, my lifestyle, um, things that I do. I don't post as often as you can see, but just want to start doing this again and trying to um, get back to it. So let's get it. All right, guys. So here I have my 2011 uh, F-250. I'll be changing the headlights out, the uh, signal light as well. Right now, once uh, I turn on the lights, this uh, signal light is basically flashing really fast. Um, while they're off, they're normal, but as soon as it gets the nighttime and you know you have to turn on the lights, it it does the same thing all the time. So right now I'm running HIDs on the bottom, so for my headlights, and then I have an LED blinker on both sides. Um, it's a weird setup though, because there's only one side that actually hooks up on those HIDs, and then from that one side it runs to the other headlight so i don't know if that might be the issue but i got some new beam tech leds um i'll put the link down in the description um they say they're 55 watt 22,000 lumen um they have this thing here it might be some type of a fuse or or relay or something for them not to blink um fast or not but here they are they come with a fan i didn't really like the fan option but they're not bad uh they were about 70 dollars on amazon um and then i got other uh switchbacks this time leds which i got from uh, amazon as well their parts am as far as removing the headlights to to get to change the bulbs you got to remove this grill um there's some bolts on the top part um all these that are on here holding this down and then down here there's a few tabs that you have to remove and the whole thing will come forward and then you can take it out. It's really simple. Then the headlights, it got a few bolts. Got one up here. There is one hidden away right in there. Um, and I believe there was some in here if I'm not mistaken. So we'll get right to it. And I'll catch up with you guys once uh, I already have the headlights. Before I forget, let me show you how they look like right now. Um, they turn on pretty nice, and these HIDs are really bright with these headlights. But once I turn the signal on, you can see that they blink pretty fast instead of the regular way which if i turn off the headlights i put the blinker on they go normal so that's the issue that i want to um 
fix and at the same time i would like for both of them to turn on when the headlights come on so they'll both be the same color the way you get to this bolt down here i'm not sure if you could catch that but it is right there so what i usually do after you remove this top bolt and these two here this one and this one um you can slide i have a long extension on the 3 8 ratchet and just slide it right in there without trying to get the socket off there you go and it's on there so now i'll take my ratchet it up to it and once you start removing it then it has a little bit of wiggle room the bolt might fall in there but you'll just have to get it to put it back is uh, a little tricky turn off the camera see if I can get it it's right there now that the new headlights are installed on both sides you know you just got to twist them off connect them to the plug these are really simple they just have that box the hids bring this big box with all this other wiring that we had to put a relay it goes all the way to the other side and it also connects to the battery with a, a positive and negative cable so having the leds is really a simple uh, connection I'm gonna turn them on now and see if we have the same effect on these I really crossing my fingers hope not but let's see if it does Okay, they're both on and you can't see much because of the glare from the sun but they're on they are on now I would like to see um, as you can see these are the same white color as the headlights let me see when I turn on the signal oh Wow. We still do. They are still going fast. Even if I shut them off, now you get the same effect on and off oh shoot well i guess i'll be returning those um I'll open up the, the box here so I can show you these. 
because it has two, you can tell this one was broken on the inside. So, but they have these two clips. All you have to do is get a small screwdriver like these, pinch it, try doing it from the side. They have a small little gap there that you can slide it right in and just try to get it off. Um, once you get them off, then you just uh, make the connection on the wiring and it'll just uh, click back on there. Um, so it, it, these are really simple. Almost forgot to do these on the video. There it is, guys. It's all put back together. Um, I left the bottom one out on this side and the other side. Because um, I will be changing this top uh, bulb out soon. Um, I did not like that they were still flickering really fast. And I will definitely be changing those. Um, I'm going to have to do a little bit more research to see what it is that I need in order for them not to flicker fast. Um, I believe I've seen some that have kind of a small box just like the other one has with like a small relay. Um, but I'll, I'll be looking into that. So I, I went ahead and installed the old ones that I had back on there again. And I left a new LED on the bottom. And I'll see those. Hopefully I can show you a picture um, maybe later on in the day. And I'll put it at the end of this video so you can see well thank you guys for watching um any questions or anything on this installation please leave a comment down below and uh, like the video thank you